Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. Let's talk a little bit about some of the negative aspects of your twin flame journey. Burnout, overwhelm, anger, hostility, tension, stress, anxiety. Okay, these are not pretty topics. I cannot sugarcoat them. They are real for people and a lot of people that sends them deeper into the closet. You know, it's hard enough to, you don't want to say to your family, I'm a twin flame. That's why I'm doing this or this or that, or that's why I can't come to a family dinner, or that's why I want to go off on you, right? We'd love to, but yet something in us knows they're not going to understand. And here's the kicker. They will understand because they're going through it too, okay? Everybody's like keeping hush hush about what they're really feeling, except it is popping out in droves. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about all things about the twin flame journey, the emotions, the deep psyche, the um, reinvention of yourself, the manifestation of your proper work for your gifts and your skills and love. Let's let us not forget it is about love. Tis love, tis love. So when it comes to all these emotions, the anger, I have frequently felt like I want to have like a hotline, like, hello, you know, where you can just be like hostility hotline. How can I help you? Oh my God, this person cut me off in traffic and I chased them and I wanted to ram them with my car. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for calling. It is acknowledged. You're feeling angry. I don't know what to do now. Ah, now I know what to do. I know what to do because I wrote a little helpful workbook called Managing Anger for Working Parents. A lot of people on the journey are parents or you'll blend a family or you have other responsibilities like an animal. I mean, I know I have a friend, she lives with someone, it's a roommate situation, not a lover situation. The roommate actually drinks very heavily, has blackouts, and is abusive to the animals. And it's a terrible situation. Yells at them, whacks them, puts them in a cage, never lets them out to play. Abusive. Now, for some people, that's their children. That That's how they have to just click off. They have no coping. They have no, that's how they cope, and it's not coping. Let's talk a minute about medical and financial impacts of people not addressing their emotional well-being, okay? We're seeing it, mental health. Now, I recall in the 70s when my government decided that they didn't need all these mental hospitals and they literally turned people out in the streets. Now, presumably, some people found other programs or, you know, somehow white knuckled it together. Other people have been living on the streets for a really long time out of their minds with PTSD or drugged or something. You have recurrences of this. You have people who have the opposite. They have taken way too much plant medicine and it has messed with the wiring and they are out of their minds and they cannot be stable. They can't Dude, okay, so let's get to the financial part of this because there is a lot of collateral damage with this. First of all, all one person needs is, you know, a way to retaliate or a way to, and you know what? They're taking out people. This is the problem when people feel hostile or homicidal. They want to take out people. Now, we may know that this follows a pattern by now, right? But what is the real cost? It is in the millions. To give you a fair assessment of how this can balance out, the brand new light body within about a year, and that means yes, with sessions or group coaching with me and webinars, you're able to integrate to where those things become a non-issue. And not only that, they help your kids. They help, they have a ripple effect, okay? So I have had examples where people, they feel so built up or it just starts happening in their body. They're having a panic attack. They don't know. Maybe it's a heart attack. They go over to emergency room and guess what? $1,200 bill. And 
this may have been mitigated. Maybe there is a genuine medical issue, a genetic issue that they need to explore. However, things become an emergency and then a crisis. How can we be part of the solution? Well, it is through the integration of your body. It is learning the brand new way for burnout, overwhelm, anger, stress, anxiety, and being mindful. Why mindful? Why mindful? Let's talk about awareness because as a twin flame, love gives you additional senses. Love gives you additional openings of your gifts. So naturally you have more. You have more than other people. There's more to be aware of, and yet there's more that's natural to you. That is bonus time because until you experience it, and that's why I say, if you're new to this, just stay here because you're going to experience. And that's the only thing we've ever had to live by. We live by our wits, we live by our senses, anywhere we go in the entire universe. And I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you stay the course and be in love. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Try not to let the world get to you. Cut each other some slack. Let people go, hold the door for them. Whatever things do. But if you want to have a happier, healthier season and next year, join me. Write me some email questions. I'd love to see you there. Thanks so much and have a good day. Bye.